Welcome back to South Paul Diecast. I'm Scott, and here we have an Indy car, so it must mean that time of the year again, the month of May, and the Indianapolis 500. So I want to continue my tradition of doing a tribute car to one of the drivers from the 500. So we're going to get this apart, and we're going to see what's up with it. And also, I'm not going to reveal who the tribute car is just yet. Maybe later on in the video. So stay tuned. Okay, we finally got the Indy car all apart. And man, that was the most work I've ever done to get a car apart. Had to draw out the wing to get it off. Had to draw out the engine. It was riveted to the chassis. Two posts on the body to get that off. Finally, we got it apart. Checking it out. We're going to get the body in the citrus drip as well as the rear wing and we will return okay so here we are my favorite part the orange toxic goo and we're gonna get the body in the rear wing in here and get all that paint off so we can start our new paint job so let me dunk it as it go and there they go into the orange toxic goo and they're slowly sinking and we're just going to help the body a little bit because I like doing that. And I think the wing is going to go down all by itself. I'll give it a little help. So there we go. So we're going to get all that paint off. And we're going to leave it in there for about a day. And we'll see you soon. Okay, guys. So I got the body out of the citrus strip, a.k.a. orange toxy goo. Got that all stripped, and I kind of went over with the scotch bright wheel, and the wing is separate. Took that off, did the same thing. Kind of hit the interior with the scotch bright wheel. So now, next, we're off to the paint booth. We're going to get it primered, and then we're going to get our color on it. Okay, so here's the body after I got the paint job on it, and we're getting ready to put the decals on it. So I'm kind of giving away. Does anybody know what color this is? and what car it might be. You'll have to stay tuned and see in the next segment. got everything completed for the sweet savage tribute car and uh, got the new wheels on the chassis i went ahead and installed the motor and on the paint job i took some createx uh, fluorescent orange with a little bit of crimson red and got the color as close as what i thought i think i did a pretty good job it's really close and so now we're ready to put it together for the reveal Okay, so here's where we started with our Indy car, and it was an old Bobby Hunter car, and now let's get ready for the big reveal. Stay tuned. Okay, guys, here she is, Sweet Savage's 1973 STP Indy car, and it turned out awesome, and mainly to the part of those awesome-looking decals from IndyCal. They do such good work in finding those wheels that looks so much like the wheels that was on his car back in the day. And then to me, doing a pretty good job getting the color of the car correct. And this is a Johnny Lightning casting that I had. And when I saw it, I was like, it's not the exact car that Swede drove, but it's very close. And that's when I decided I got to do a tribute car to Sweet Savage. So if you enjoyed this video, Give it a thumbs up and hit the like button and subscribe because it's always free and we'll see you down the road.